Welcome miniatures fans, this is video 4 of making the perfect Victorian miniature. This video will be on Victorian stick style and also on interiors. Now the purpose of my channel is to find creative ways to build imaginative miniature structures based on our collective memory. And it's the details that I really love. So let's take a closer look at a stick style house in San Francisco. So for my next project, I'm gonna to try to recreate these stick style houses. And in contrast to the Italianese, they don't have the three bay windows in front. They basically have these box structures to be their bay windows. And usually they have this uh, slanted roof and a lot more straight vertical lines. So this is my 3D model design of a stick style Victorian house. Note the vertical lines leading your eye upward. Since space was such a premium in hilly San Francisco in the 1890s, they accentuated height over width. The bay window also has become a lot more boxy in shape. In this design, I wanted to provide a lot more visibility to the inside in anticipation of my next move, which was designing interiors. I also wanted to give the porch a more gingerbread house feel to it, placed a sunburst pattern on the gable as was typical in San Francisco. I also opened up the back of the house and I started experimenting with the pitched roof and of course the front gable. Again, I wanted to emphasize verticality and making the interiors more visually accessible. And this is what the model looks like in miniature physical form. I kept to the basic four room layout as my Italianate structure and really punched up the facade details with those strong vertical lines. Milling and wood carving was a technological advancement at the end of the 19th century San Francisco. Then I designed a few interior spaces. For each quadrant, I designed a different interior. In the upper right, you see a baby's room. Here's a close-up of the baby's room. And you could see a canopied crib protecting them from the cold of San Francisco. On the rug, they also have a teddy bear and some toys, along with a toy train to get them started with their first layout. And below the baby's room, there is a dining room all decked out for Thanksgiving dinner, complete with turkey, mashed potatoes, and all the fixings. On the left side, I placed a study library on the top floor, with a kitchen on the bottom, complete with stove, sink, and an island. Now in my next video, I'm going to design a Queen Anne Victorian. Please remember to subscribe to this channel to get the next installment, but until then, happy modeling, and I'll see you soon.